Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this video, we're going to find the sum of this infinite series. So generally speaking, finding the sum of infinite series is super, super hard. Um, in this case, I believe we can write this in uh, a convenient way. So we'll start, uh, maybe, by writing it as follows. So this is the infinite sum from 0 to infinity of, uh, I think we can write it like this, 3 fifths to the n over n factorial, right? It should be the same thing. So let me uh, explain that. So focusing on just what's inside the sum, we have this, right? And so what we can do is you can think of it like this, 3 to the n over 5 to the n times 1 over n factorial. And then so now you can think of it like this, uh, 3 to the n over 5 to the n, boom, over n factorial, which is the same thing as 3 fifths to the n over n factorial. So you can do some math, just some basic algebra, and write it this way. And I'd say, well, why'd you write it this way? Ah, because of skill, right? So e to the x is equal to the infinite sum of x to the n over n factorial. So when you see a problem like this where you have to find the sum, try to think of things that are familiar. So I saw the n's here. I thought, oh, look at that. You can write that as 3 fifths to the n. So it's something to the nth power. So maybe we can write this using this formula. So now you see that our x here is 3 fifths. So this is just going to be e to the 3 fifths. And that's the sum of the series. So it's all about pattern uh, recognition in these problems. So I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. That's it.